Hello once again. This is for my Crassweb, a channel that is allowing you to shift from your classroom to form my Crassweb, a channel that is trying to uplift your standards, especially this time when we are doing our studies at home due to the spread of coronavirus. I would want to remind you once again, can you remain at home until the government tell us otherwise? Now, this is a question that was asked by one of the candidates, which is a clear indication that learners are actually using this channel to do their studies. Now, this question uh, reads, Wanja deposited shillings 24,600 in a certain financial institution which paid simple interest per annum. After nine months, the total amount of money plus the interest and was shillings 25,338. At what rate percent did the money earn interest? This question was number 43 and it was tested in the KCP for the year 2013. And it came from a topic on money, work that was covered in class 7. If you are using a reference material, Jomo Kenyatta Foundation, which I'm using for now, this work is available on page 169 about simple interest. We are going to remind ourselves some few things concerning this question. First of all, let us remind ourselves what is interest. This is money paid for money borrowed or deposited. Money paid for money borrowed or deposited. These are two words and they are different. If you borrow some money, you ask that person or that institution to read you some money. And then you'll stay with that money for some times, which you are going to repay slowly by, slowly after a certain period of time. Sometimes you may be having some cash, which you do not want to keep at home. So you take that money to a financial institution and you deposit that money there. Now, because of either borrowing or depositing, this is money and this is business, which some financial institution do. So if you happen to deposit your money like this person, Wanja, who deposited 24600 in that institution, that money stayed in that institution for a period of nine months. And afterwards, this person withdrew the money, and you'll find that the amount that this uh, lady withdrew was 25338 You'll find that after depositing that money of 24600 she withdrew more money. Any extra coin that was earned here is what we are calling interest. And this interest is simple interest. Now, we want to look at the forms of interest. Actually, forms of interest are two. We've got the first form, which is simple interest, like now the case which we have here. And we also have the second form, that is compound interest. Now, this question is, uh, has nothing to do with compound interest. And therefore, for now, I will not talk about compound interest. That one we shall reserve it for another, uh, for another reason. Now, when, uh, when working out a simple interest, there is a formula that is used to calculate simple interest. Now, that formula is you take principal, you multiply by time, and then you multiply by rate, which is in percentage. Principal times time times rate, which is in percentage. Now, what is principal? What is this time and what is this rate? Now, principal is the money borrowed or deposited. In our case here, the principal will be 24,600. That will be the principal. Now, time is the duration or period taken in years. Look at what we have here. This money stayed with that financial institution for a period of nine months. If you look at this one, it is not yet an year. This is just a fraction of an year. So, 
when working out simple interest we work we use time which is calculated in years or per annum now the rate is the percentage that is charged rate is percentage that is charged what does this mean if in this case this person deposited this amount of money for this period how is that interest going to add itself how is it going to accrue at the rate of which should be calculated as percentage and according to this question we are supposed to calculate the rate percent we shall use this formula here to work out that unknown value there now the information given here is the principal which is 24600 that is given then time is 9 months as i have said this is just a fraction of an year and so we need to convert the 9 months here to years which is actually just a fraction and this one we can do it by taking 9 we divide by 12 because an year has 12 months so once you simplify this one you divide 9 by 3 you get 3 there 12 divided by 3 you will get 4 and therefore this is just 3 quarter of an year this is just a fraction of an year so time is 3 over 4 interest it is also given and we can be able to calculate this one look this person deposited 24,600 and after that period of 9 months that she will withdrew the money or rather this money had accrued some interest from 24,600 to 25,338. You can see there is a difference here. This money have increased. And that increase is what we are calling interest, which we can get by taking the 25,338, we subtract the principal, which was 24,600, and therefore the interest was shillings 738. So we can't say that we are not given interest here. We have to work it out ourselves. But for the rate, we do not have it. That is now our question. Right. Interest, we have already said, it is shillings 738. And from our formula of working out simple interest, we shall take the principle, we multiply by time, then we multiply by the rate. We have, this, we have the interest, which we have already calculated there. Principal, we know it. Then we multiply by that fraction of an year, and we multiply by the rate at which that money is going to increase. That is rate over 100, because rate is in percentage. So R is for rate over 100. Now you'll find that we have been able to form an expression which will help us now to calculate the rate in percentage. Right. What we shall have this time, we can first of all remove that zero with this other zero there so that on the numerator part of it we shall have 246 times 3 times R. And the denominator will remain 4. Now with this, you'll find that now the interest will now be equals to 246 times 3 times R over 4. Remember, this expression here is what we have on top there. And the denominator 4 is what we have there. Now, uh, 738, we multiply this one by 4 because we have to do cross multiplication and 246 we shall divide by what we have here actually if you look at what i have done here to get a rate i have taken the reciprocal of this number here this number on top here has been 
made the denominator. And the denominator on the other side was made the numerator. And therefore, on the left side, rather on the right side, we shall have now 738 multiplied by 4. We divide by 738. After you take 246, you multiply by 3. And with this now you find that the 738 you can divide by 8 up there and at the bottom there. And therefore you will find that the rate will now be equal to 4%. I want to repeat something here. Right from this section here. That interest is that principle we multiply by the time which was a fraction of an year times the rate. And the rate is in a percentage. We have removed these two zeros there by cancelling. So on the numerator part, we have 246 multiplied by 3 multiplied by R. Remember now R will be our unknown that we are supposed to calculate divided by 4. Now to be left with R here, you multiply by 4 on both sides here so this side you'll have 738 multiplied by 4 and the 246 times 3 we make it the denominator so we have done cross multiplication with an intention of working out rate or r and therefore this expression here is what we have here. This one is what we shall have there. And finally, you divide the 738 by 738 to be left with 4 as your rate. And so, that was the answer for that question. Subscribe to this channel so that you keep on receiving different examples. Thank you very much.